Hey everyone, I am doing a review on the Apple iPod Touch 16 gigabyte version. Okay, first of all, let's just take a look at the box. Uh, it's a very small, stylish, um, and inside the box it comes with the headphones, the iPod connector cable, and a stand. Also, the uh, dock port thing, and a cloth to protect the screen or whatever. So, okay. First of all, let's just take a look at the outside of this thing. It's very shiny. It's got the uh, home button here and a kind of a hold button which shuts off the screen, this button here. It's got Wi-Fi, so there's the antenna. And the bottom has the iPod connector dock and the headphone jack. Okay, so this thing is very thin. Here is the headphone. You just plug it in the bottom here and you can see how thin this really is. It's super thin. It's almost as thin as the headphone. So anyways, let's just turn this thing on here. Just slide the key and here's the home page. Now, first thing you notice is that I have done a jailbreak on this iPod so there's icons on here that you won't see if you simply buy the iPod straight from the store so anyways let's uh, let's take a look at the music there's a you just simply just slide through the artists here um, and click on the artist the uh, and then the song. It ha it's very nice. It shows the uh, um, the album cover here. Play, pause, uh, volume, etc. Turn it sideways, and you get the cover flow, which actually works like it's shown on the commercials. It's very responsive. Anyways, uh, let's take a look at videos. I have some movies on here. Uh, 300, one of my favorite videos. And uh, you just double tap and it changes the uh, how far it zooms in on the, on the video. So anyways, uh, let's take a look at photos. Sorry about this, I have a cold right now, so bear with me. Uh, you just slide through your pictures and let's just uh, Let's just click on one here. You simply swipe your finger to uh, go through the pictures, turn it sideways, and the accelerometer turns the picture sideways. You can zoom in and move the picture around, double tap to go back out, single tap to go back to your pictures. It's very fun and it works awesomely. I don't know if that's a word, but anyways. Anyways, last thing is the internet. Um, I have here Engadget, one of my favorite sites, and the internet works almost flawlessly. You double tap to uh, zoom in, or you can just simply use your fingers to pinch. And it is the full internet, except Flash is not supported. So if you go to a website that has videos, tough. Can't watch them. But anyways, you can turn it sideways, it you know, flips, whatever. Um, the keyboard is really nice, especially in wide mode like this. It's very simple. Okay, so the inter internet works very nice. Um, let's see. Okay, Wi-Fi. You can see the uh, Wi-Fi is showing up here. Go to the settings. Wi-Fi. And you can turn Wi-Fi on or off. And you can see here uh, the different uh, Wi-Fi hotspots. So, you can also add one here. But, uh... 
But anyways, you click on the one, it'll ask you for your password or whatever. Simply type it in. Um, let's see. Oh, oh yeah, YouTube. Uh, YouTube works great. Um, you got, you have your search function, your bookmarks, most viewed, and featured. So let's say you're searching for a video here. Here's one of my other reviews. Um, takes a little while to load, but it's not bad. Press play. And there you have it. YouTube on your iPod. You can't write comments or anything like that, so it's kind of a bummer. But it works nice. Um, let's see here. Oh, since I jailbroke the iPhone, iPod, sorry. <laughs> I keep calling it iPhone. Uh, since I jailbroke it, I've installed these other applications. Um, so one of these is, uh, shows off the accelerometer. So let's go, let's play this game here. I don't know if you can see this very well, but um, there's a ball on the screen, and if you tilt it, the ball moves. So it's just kind of showing how the accelerometer works, and it works really good. I'm really surprised at how that, how that functions. Um, okay, so here's the installer application that you can download from, uh, I think it's called jailbreakme.com or something like that. I forget. But anyways, you can come in here and uh, install any program that they have, or, you know, uninstall, whatever. So anyways, it's got to refresh there. Um, another cool thing here is the uh, AOL um, you can log on with AIM. Uh, this doesn't come with the iPod, by the way. It's just another application. But you can uh, just chat with people. Click send. There you go. Uh, let's see here. Anything else? Um. Oh, the iTunes Wi-Fi store. I I don't particularly use this just because I don't really buy songs from iTunes. But anyways, you can uh, you can do your search or you know, whatever you want, and it'll download it straight to your iPod. Um, <clears throat> so, so yeah, I mean, I don't really have a whole lot to say about it, it's, it's very, it's very nice, it's not, it's not the most reliable iPod I've seen, um, sometimes Safari will crash, which is really annoying, but, uh, but yeah, here's the calendar. You can type in different things here. Actually, you can't type in anything. I had to do the... I had to do a hack to get that to work. But anyways... It's very nice. I love it. Um... And yeah. So anyways, just leave me a comment. Uh, if you have any questions, you know, leave a comment or send me a message, and I'd be glad to answer any questions. Oh, one more thing. If you, you hit the lock button up here and it shuts off the screen, you can't turn it back on unless you actually hit the button. And a lot of people think, oh, well, this might, you know, this might go off in my pocket accidentally. But no, you have to have your finger touching it for it to actually work. Anyways, I ran out of time here, so I will upload this, leave any comments, and appreciate it.